are you? Trigger X is back and welcome to another video here on my channel guys and yeah guys today I'm here with my first Diablo video and guys I'm currently hard stuck in this game it's so much fun I'm grinding in the moment so hard I enjoy it a lot and yeah today I'm here with just a small video I just want to show you guys the gear and the skills that I used to level up so fast yeah, my gear for the leveling phase. This is a mid-game build, so I'm not talking about all the end-game stuff here. It's just the build that I used, or the gear that I used for leveling, the skills that I used, the gear switching. Often, for sure, you get better items than I switch it. It's not the max out gear. It's just some gear that I use currently, and I want to talk a bit about this. I enjoy this build a lot. It's a crazy bomber build. We have so much AoE damage, but also single target damage. We have great heal power. And yeah, I just shred through everything with this build. It's so good. They nerfed this class already a bit, but it's still so good. And I show you now. First, I would say I show you fast the specialization that I'm using here and I'm going with combo points. They nerfed inner side. I'm going with combo points. It gives us extra core skill damage when we use our basic skill. This is perfect for a rogue because you guys know the most broken skill that they nerfed already is the Twisting Blades. And you guys can see they hit so hard with the extra damage there with the combo points and we spam our spam but anyway the full time and then you spam your twisting blades you spam this skill twisting blades this skill twisting blades this hits so hard and you can nuke all the bosses down and this is so broken i enjoy it a lot um yeah guys you guys see it already i'm using the invigorating strike here then the twisting blades the next skill that i have slotted is the shadow step this is perfect when you use the twisting blades you guys can see this attack returns to us, so we can put it on the enemy, then there we can jump on another enemy far away, and it shoots through all the enemies and hits really, really hard. That's why I'm using the shadow step here, and it's also a very good stun. This is very helpful, and yeah, the next skill that I'm using is the poison trap for some buffs, and it's also some extra dot damage. It's also really good. I'm not talking so much about all the build stuff here because you guys know. When there's the fully end game, I'm gonna make an extra video where I go into the details of the build in a moment. It's just the leveling phase, that's why I'm give a small overview, but I'm not talking about all the small things. I hope that's okay. If you have questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Then I'm going with the shadow imbuement. This is insane. I love it a lot. It's such a good AoE bomber build when you use this skill. You guys can see it. You put a shadow effect on all enemies and when they die, they explode and you can use it together with your twisting plates. So you put it on all the enemies. When your twisting plates shoots through all the enemies, you put the shadow imbuement on all guys and when one dies, there's a fucking uh, chain explosion and all explode and this hits so hard. This is perfect for leveling, to farm the mobs. It's insane for dungeons and we still have so good single target damage for the bosses with the twisting blades as well so this build is insane i had zero problems through the full game at the moment i had never problems to kill anything um the the leveling speed is also very good we are fast in the dungeons i enjoy it a lot and for me this is also very very broken and i would definitely use it for the leveling phase in end game i don't know if it still stays so good in the end game then but for leveling i enjoy it a lot Okay, and the last skill that I switch sometimes is the Death Trap, our ultimate. It's also an insane AoE skill, perfect for AoE damage. Um, I used uh, a while the Dark Shroud, but they nerfed it also, I hear. Then I switched, I don't really need the damage reduction. I'm so tanky, I have so good heal power in the moment, maybe in the end game then you need it. But currently I don't need it for leveling and then I used this ultimate here also for some extra AOE damage. So we are faster, we rush through the dungeons and this is perfect for leveling as well. And here in the last thing here, I'm going with the momentum. This is perfect for damage reduction. Maybe that's why I feel that I have enough. You get some extra damage reduction. And now I show you the gear because here's something special with momentum as well. And this item, this bonus, I love it. You guys can see it. When momentum key passive is active, each stack heals you for 66. Yeah, 42, 120 life per second. So we can have up to three stacks. So this is some insane heal power. When you see I, I have 1600 health and this thing here gives me 
already this bonus gives me already 66 with one stack. Let's say we have three stacks. So it's around 200 heal per second. Um, and we have 1,600 health. So this is insane. Yeah, it's, this, this is completely insane. Um, completely insane heal power. And I show you also the other gear that I'm using. So some bonuses that are very helpful, I think. Also this one here with the extra healing too. When there are close enemies around you, also some extra heal power. Um, we have a barrier here. It's also really strong. So with the barrier, with the two healings there. I never really need potions at the moment. I'm so tanky and I still have some insane damage. This is insane and um, yeah. I show the gear slowly here. I don't go into the de details here right now. I'm gonna make an extra video when there's the full end game about the, um, the bonuses that you should have on the gear. I can tell you guys something like um, close damage, uh, close, yeah, damage to close enemies and things like this for sure. They are really helpful. Critical damage is helpful. Um, all these things, physical damage, um, dual real damage, and all these things, they are helpful. But you guys know that. I think I don't have to say this. You know the bonuses that are interesting for your class um, or for the rogue right here. Um, you know what is helpful. I go in all the details in an extra video then when I'm on the fully end game. This was just here a small overview of what I'm using currently and yeah, I just want to tell you that I'm hard stuck in this game and it's so much fun. I enjoy it. Um, yeah guys, if you want to see more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. We see us in the next video. Have a nice day and bye bye.